tonight I'm going to make a video about tolerance. You see, tolerance is a funny thing. The reason I was inspired to make this video was because I was sick and tired of people like Piers Morgan claiming Christians need to be more tolerant. More tolerant, I asked myself, what does that even mean? And how does he know what the correct tolerance level even is? By what standard is he going by? Where should one draw the line with what they deem okay or what they feel is an acceptable line for tolerance? Let us stop and really take a good look at what I mean. Piers Morgan has said many times on his show that he would tolerate his son being gay if it made his son happy. But surely, Piers would not tolerate his, his wife cheating on him if it made her happy. So where does Piers draw the line? And should everyone draw the same line of tolerance as the next man? Meaning, should we all have the same tolerance level on all the same issues? If the answer is yes, then that appears to prove that there is some kind of objective morality or objective right or wrong regarding tolerance that exists and should be followed, even though it's not. Many times, we see people judging others because they, be, they may be intolerant of certain situations, issues, decisions, or other people. For example, if I am intolerant of someone's gay lifestyle, I may be judged for not being tolerant enough of another person's choices. On the, other, on the opposite spectrum, you may see someone judging another person who is too tolerant. Take for example the mother who refuses to discipline her out of control teenage daughter because she wants her daughter to be happy and still love her. That mother is oftentimes judged as being too tolerant and therefore looked down upon. The issue is that with atheism, tolerance always has to be subjective and ultimately the level varies from person to person. Every atheist in the world who has no ultimate authority or guideline to abide by or adhere to is forced to make up their own standard of right and wrong and what is okay to tolerate or not tolerate, essentially making up their own level of tolerance. This is very dangerous. You see, what I tolerate is surely different than what you tolerate and vice versa. But let us look at this from an atheistic versus religious standpoint. If there is no God, then there truly is no baseline or foundation for what's objectively right or wrong. It's just all a matter of opinion and belief. But how can the atheist be mad at the religious simply because our tolerance level is different than theirs? How does the atheist know that their tolerance level is the correct one and religious peoples are wrong? And since all atheists would have a different tolerance level than the next atheist, how would atheist A know that his tolerance level is correct as opposed to atheist B, who surely has a different set of beliefs? How does any atheist know that what they are tolerating is too much or too little? Or how do they know if it's just right? They don't. Because if God doesn't exist, then there is no objective morality. No objective right or wrong. It's all just based on what you believe, what you've learned, or what your societal pressures are. So you can't judge me, peers, for having different levels of tolerance than yours if you are claiming there is no baseline or foundation for objective morality in the first place. So the question I have for Piers Morgan and other atheists is, if you want to judge me and say I'm being too intolerant, then tell me how you know your own tolerance levels are correct. By what standard are you basing your tolerance? How do you know that your tolerance level is the correct one? How do you know that you shouldn't allow your wife to cheat on you if it makes her happy? Maybe you're just being too judgmental on the topic, Piers. Maybe you are being too intolerant. Maybe you should let her make her own personal life choices and support her in them and quit holding her down because she's trying to be happy. Or maybe you should stop supporting gay rights because maybe you're being too tolerant and didn't realize it. You see, there's a wide spectrum of tolerance levels that are set at many different heights. Without God providing a foundation for morality and a baseline for right and wrong, or what should be tolerated or not tolerated, that everything becomes purely subjective. And ultimately, no one can judge anyone for anything if it doesn't break the law or hurt anyone. So a good question to ask an atheist is, do you think it's wrong to mistreat gay people? They will undoubtedly say yes. Next, ask them if it's objectively wrong, meaning is it really wrong, independent of what anyone believes about it, or is it just subjectively wrong, meaning it's just your opinion or what you've learned? If it's just your opinion or something you've learned, then it's not really wrong to mistreat gay people. It's just something that you believe. And if you think it's objectively wrong, then you would have to admit God exists. Because without God, then objective morality cannot exist. I can prove this. Also, saying I shouldn't judge gays is also a judgment in itself. 
So your entire argument is a fallacy, Piers Morgan, my boy. Get a clue and get an education. Larry King was much better. <laughs> Defeating atheism is fun, as e fun and easy. The next time an atheist tells you to stop being so intolerant of these different issues, ask them how do they know where to draw the line? And how do they know that their own tolerance level is correct? I'll see you soon. I am the Atheist Killer, the AK. Please don't forget to stop by our Facebook page, Creationism and the Origin of Life, or Blue House Apologetic Society. We'll see you soon. I'm out. Peace!